In this video, I will go over how to turn a column of strings into a numeric column. We can see here with the text input, we have some values. Some of them are negative values, which are represented by being surrounded by parentheses. However, Alteryx does not recognize these parentheses as that value being negative. So, for example, if I tried to bring, bring the select tool onto the canvas, and turn this value into a double and hit run, we'll notice that Alteryx just removes them because it doesn't recognize those negative values as negative values. So we need to do a little bit of manipulation first to remove the unwanted characters. So what we can do is we can bring a formula tool onto the canvas and what we want to do is we want to replace the left parenthesis and the right parenthesis. We'll select the values column and we can use a function called replace. String is just going to be the column that we're looking to modify, which is values. Target is what are we looking for. In this case, we're looking for a left parenthesis. And replace is we want to replace this with a negative because that's what the left parenthesis uh, is representing. But now we want to remove the right parenthesis. So we can go ahead and wrap another replace formula around this current formula. So we can go replace. Now this first string is going to be our target, comma. What do we want to replace? We want to replace a right parenthesis, comma. What do we want to replace it with? We don't want to replace it with anything at all. And now we can see that that one is removed. And now when we hit run, we can see that all of the left and right parentheses have been removed. So now if we try and use our select tool to convert this string field into a double field and hit run, we'll notice that we have one error. This value will stop converting at a comma. It might be invalid. So what we thought was going to be a valid number 1001.67, this comma is still holding us back. So let's just go back to our formula and replace that comma. So while we could add another replace statement in front of this formula, another thing we could do is we could just add in another column modification. So here we want to select values. We can say replace. We want to replace values. What are we looking to replace? A comma. And what do we want to replace it with? Nothing at all. And so now we can see that this rule will apply first, and this rule will apply second. And when we hit run, we'll notice that all of our values come over just as we wanted. And now we have a numeric column.